Delta Armoury, uh, a Slovakian uh, brand that's uh, mainly uh, aiming at the M4 market at the moment. Uh, our biggest aim is to bring out uh, budget-friendly options for players, uh, new players and also um, more experienced ones that want new products or new features in their guns with uh, uh, Slovakian licensed products as well. Um, so our intention is just to keep going and get, get better at what we do. We aim from the sort of 100, 120 euro upwards market and I'll go over a couple of those and, and where they go uh, in the market and what we think is, is right. That's, so that's, that's our aim, um, is sort of to perfect the, the gearboxes and, and just continuously evolve uh, airsoft and, and what they can do. So news, uh, so we've got uh, the fray line from Graham Power uh, coming out as well as our own pistol line coming out. Um, and we've been asked uh, over and over again to bring out CQB models, so we are catering now for that market as well. Um, so what we do is we're going to have a look at some of the options and show you the new stuff. Okay, let's see. Yeah. We're bringing out the CQB models uh, this year. Um, all of them come with the uh, PDW style stock that's collapsible, uh, battery, uh, battery space in the back, and they're all wired to DINs uh, or T-plugs. Um, the PDWs also come with a 7 inch barrel length and a 7 inch rail with your standard um, threads so you can put tracer units, flash items, uh, silencers. Um, but so these are, these are the same, um, the same quality of filters as, as everyone's seen before. But uh, we've changed with the, um, the new series, so the pistol grip has been changed, a slightly better uh, angle uh, for, for the motor to uh, contact the gears as well as uh, changing the, the tabs to a, um, a button. So you can still get in there nice and easy with your finger as I struggle. There you go. So it's nice and easy so you can see if anything's gone wrong. These are also part of our new Eagle series. Okay. So they are slightly more expensive than the, the standard, but they do come with a hybrid MOSFET. So inside you'll get a, a magnetic trigger as well as an optical uh, gear sensor. Um, so it allows for a really snappy trigger response. As well as the trigger is adjustable so you can sh uh, shorten the length of pull. Um, so for the CQB line it makes it really good for indoor play. The other bits and pieces going, uh, coming out this year is our pistol line. Everyone can see it's a tried and true for, uh, design that everyone really likes. Um, we've taken our own little twist on it so it comes in a couple of different colours, uh, tan and green, as well as the slides being slightly different. So we've got hexagon cuts uh, and serrations of bits and pieces. Uh, biggest question that I've been asked over the, uh, the weekend is are they WE and TM compatible for internal parts and the answer is yes, it takes all of the standard uh, Tokyo Marori internals. So uh, coming out this year is the uh, Frey series, uh, these are fully uh, CNC metal with all the license and trademarks, they come with the new uh, MOSFET inside them as well as our new uh, slimline stock uh, pistol grip. We're really proud of these. They come in a, a, different, a couple of different uh, configurations with rails and barrel lengths, as you can see, 10.5, uh, key mod with silencer, and down the bottom are the 7.5 inches for CQB. Um, again, these come in uh, tan, black, and green. They're, they're the newest and best thing we've got coming out this year. Um, we're really, really pleased. Um, if you guys follow us on Instagram, we did a shooting test uh, yesterday and posted up on there. So you can find it on there to see what they perform like. What I'll do is I'll take you over to the, the rest of the pistols. So we've also, we've gone over the, the Glocks, uh, but this one's slightly different with a hexagon uh, slide. And also coming out from Grand Power are the Mark 23s. Um, these come in two different sizes, so there's a smaller one, a uh, slightly smaller barrel length and a slightly longer barrel length. Internally, they are 90% uh, compatible with Tokyo Marui parts. Um, there are a couple of unique bits and pieces, but they're in pro these are in prototype at the moment and they will be releasing later on in the year. Uh, again, come in the uh, tan, black and green. Mark 23s also come optic ready, so inside the box will be coming a, um, a different plate on the top so you can screw and then put any sort of like pistol optics that you want on top of it, um, as well as having your standard uh, okay. thing What about the price? Right, this? price points for these. Uh, we are looking at 120 euro. Um, okay. That's for the uh, Glock and for the Mark 23, it's 120 euros. Yeah, it's not really bad. And for the Freya a series? So, uh, price is somewhat up in the air, but we're looking around the 250 euro mark on release. Uh, they're a couple of weeks away, so. Okay, and I saw some new uh, Airsoft Diamond uh, BBs. The, the standard BBs, our bio BBs, and our bio and tracer BBs.
Uh, which I haven't seen in the market is someone do bio traces. Um, so that's that's really good for us. Um, I haven't got a price on these yet, but I'm sure that uh, I can get you one and you can put it in. Uh, but these are going to be from your standard point twos all the way up to three twos. Um, so we're looking forward to uh, bringing those to the market. They are slowly going through different shops at the moment, so you'll be able to get hold of them pretty soon. Okay.